Welcome to the ITU studio in Geneva, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Bilal Jamusi, who is the chief of the study groups department for ITUT. Bilal, welcome to the studio. Thank you for having me. Now, we're meeting today because this is actually the final meeting of the Digital Fiat Currency Focus Group. I wanted to ask you, what have your impressions been? Uh, have the objectives of the focus group been met? Absolutely. The uh, focus group has uh, been very active. Uh, this is the third meeting after a meeting in uh, Beijing uh, to start the conversation, followed by a meeting in New York and this third meeting in uh, Geneva. So we've been uh, to three continents and uh, attracted experts from central banks and uh, uh, te technologists from around the world. Um, and the objective from the beginning was to really look at the architecture, uh, regulatory guidelines and the security for digital fiat currency and the focus group has developed documents to uh, provide guidance on all those three. But more importantly, throughout the process of developing those documents, it brought the communities together, the communities of uh, central bankers who are thinking and studying the question of digital fiat currency, and the community of technologists building new solutions and new digital technology uh, frameworks and, uh, and security frameworks. Um, many of them rely on ITO standards, to inform that decision on, on how to provide digital fiat currency. So f the, the process and the outcome of the focus group are, um, are really uh, not only achieved, but exceeded their, their target. How can ITU uh, drive the standards required for central bank digital currency? Yeah, and, and this, this, uh, the standards, uh, some of the fundamental standards when we talk about digital fiat currency is the identity management. And today, arguably, one of the, the most international identity systems are the phone numbers. And the telephone number is one of the ITU standards called E164. And uh, that's an underpinning technology that can be used in not only in telephone numbers and mobile communication, but as we move forward in uh, mobile money. As, as you move around the world, you can use your identity to tap into that uh, digital currency. And when we talk about e-wallet, your wallet is on your mobile phone and your identity is based on an ITU standard. That's one example of how this transformation, digital transformation in the financial sector is enabled by uh, standards from the ITU when it comes to identity, uh, security and also the overall architecture of the the system behind it to provide for that uh, digital currency. Okay, coming back to the focus group, what uh, what will happen next following the conclusion of the focus group's work? So the traditional process is that the output of the focus group goes to the existing study groups of the ITU, uh, but now because we are bringing two communities together, the central banks and the technology community. Um, some of the output could be very much uh, used by other uh, banking uh, organizations to inform the study and the discussion around uh, digital fiat currency. Um, and next year we have the uh, World Telecom Standards Assembly uh, in, in India. So we look forward to membership contributions on how uh, the standards from ITU and the structure of ITU could uh, evolve to provide for uh, this digital transformation in the financial sector. Great, okay, well, uh, is there anything else that I, ha I haven't covered that you think might be, might be good to mention? Well, uh, I think this is uh, a digital revolution. All the young uh, kids and today, you know, my, my sons, for example, uh, they don't use cash anymore. And uh, this decaching exercise around the world, and especially with the young uh, folks, uh, is driving the central banks to find solutions for digital fiat currency, central bank issued or central bank uh, digital currency. So we're embarking on a really new era and we hope to be able to keep up with, uh, with the young generation, their needs, and develop the standards that would uh, meet those requirements. Bilal Jamusi, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.